So let us do a few examples on this. Mm, we have Suppose this compound or let's say mm, huh, this compound so would give you this compound. So what do we do first? Identify the longest chain. We identify the longest chain. We have this chain four membered. We have this chain. We have this chain four, five. But we have one, two, three, four, five, six membered chain. And this one, two, three, four, five, six membered chain. So they, they are both equal. So we take this as the longest chain. So we take this as the longest chain and it's six membered. So first we write hexane and then we start taking the groups into account. So this, there are three methyl groups and one ethyl group on this. So from where should we start counting? We have three, three, because there are two groups, we will have to write three twice on the same carbon atom. So if there are two groups on the same carbon atom, we will have to write their names differently. Like here we will have to write three methyl, three ethyl, something like that. So we have three plus three, six plus four, ten plus five, fifteen. So we have 15 if we start numbering from this side. We start numbering from this side. And if we start numbering from this side, we have 2 plus 3, 5, 5 plus 4, 9 plus 4, 13. So obviously 13 is lower than 15. So we'll have to start numbering from this side. Now, we have three methyls and one ethyl. So we have a trimethyl and an ethyl. So in the alphabetical order, we omit this tri. So we compare methyl and ethyl. So obviously E comes before M, so the ethyl will come before the trimethyl, which will obviously come even if we take the tri. But this is wrong. Taking the tri would, would be wrong. If it would have been dimethyl, then it would have given a different result. So never take this di and tri into account while naming, uh, while take, uh, while finding out the alphabetical order. So it's ethyl, ethyl is on 4. So it's 4 ethyl comma 2, 3, 4. 2, 3, 4 try methyl Four ethyl two three four trimethyl hexane. So this is the name of this compound. So 
so we know now about naming alkanes with branches what about alkenes now we know this is called propene and uh, okay so before going into branching of alkenes let us see alkenes with functional groups so alkenes with functional groups have the same algorithm like alkanes with functional groups it's just count the number of carbon atoms then write this formula then if there is a functional group delete the e at the end and then add the suffix or prefix in case of prefix you don't need to follow this second step it's just propene and you'll write whatever so basically if we add an oh group over here this will become propene delete this e and add the suffix for oh which is all and if we have this then it will be butene all and so on and if we have something like this it will be chloro actually this is chloropropene we'll see it later where we should put the ones and twos for now just think this is chloropropene this is not the actual name this is not the actual iupac name 